Hey friends, my name is Yi and you're watching Yi Mr. Easy. Hey, welcome to a new video for IGCSE at Max and today we're going to look into certs and in this video we'll look into rules and examples for certs and in our next video we'll look into questions only. But here's rules and examples for certs. And before we get right into it, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe and ring the notification bell so that you don't miss out on any future videos. But anyways, here's some rules for cert. So starting with the first one, we have some a basic one. Root A or cert A, I'll call it both, it's the same thing. So root A times root B equals root AB. So notice that both of these A and B, they have a cert or like a root. So if, they, if you times it together, it will become one whole bracket. Sorry, one whole cert. So for example, we have let's say cert 3 times let's say cert 2 the result will be cert 3 times 2 or cert 6 right so for number 2 we have root a times root a equals a so notice that all of these have the same uh, constant like a a a so it's important to note that all of these have to be the same number in order to become just an a because we know that uh, let's say we have a square. a square is equal to a times a. So if you square, if you square root the, uh, all of these, it will become a equals root a times root a. It's the same form, which is one is like square root and one is not. So we know that one uh, set a times set a equals a. For example, we have let's say set three times set three, it will equal to three. And this same logic can be applied to like let's say 3 times 3 equals 9. It's the same thing because they're both like square. So for number 3, we have set A divided by set B. So both of these have a root or a set. So you can just group the set together because it's a common like set. So this thing could be like let's say set 3 over set 2 equals a whole set. 3 over 2. So let me just highlight the set or the root. We can like group this and it might be useful in times where you have to group certain sets or certain like non-sets together. So number 4 we have uh, this thing called rationalize the denominator. So basically we have the top where we have just a normal number like it could be 1, 2, 3 or 4 like a constant and it's over a set number or like a root number, a root something. So to get rid of the cert, we want to just times the cert out in the bottom by itself uh, relating to question number, uh, the rule number 2. So root b times root b will become b due to the rule number 2 on top here. And if you times root b by root b, it will become b. But at the top, a times root b, you can't simplify, simplify it further. Uh, further. So you will just remain a root, uh, a root b divided by b. So an example could be like let's say we have 1 over cert 3. To rationalize it, we have to times the top by cert 3. So 1 times cert 3 equals cert, uh, 1 times cert 3 equals cert 3. And the bottom is cert 3 times cert 3. So this equal to cert 3 over 3. So just so like here. And number 5, we have this thing where people always get confused with. Notice that it's a plus, not a times, so you can't times it together just like how I did in number 1 over here. I can't do that because it's a plus and this is a times. So you, it, it just remains to set A plus set B. It doesn't like change or simplify to anything. So number 6, we have B root A. So I'm just uh, for this uh, rule, I'm just going to combine these two like variables uh, constants together to become one whole set. So basically, you know that b it's always it's equal to the set of b square because uh, the the root and the square can cancel out. So applying the rule from uh, number one, we know that these two uh, can time together to form one whole set. So it could be root b square uh, times root a. And you become the final answer of root b square a. So it's useful if you want to combine like two like different things together. For example, it could be let's say two set three. 
Then it becomes third four times third three, which is third twelve, which is basically like reverse engineering your uh, like your final answer or your simpl simplified answer to a non simplified answer. And then number seven, lastly, we have this, which is just expanding the bracket for a third and a non third with a constant actually. So we have this like normal like eight something plus a third square. And if you expand the bracket out, you become this times this is the same thing. So when you get a times a, you get a square. And if you let's change the color. And if you do a times sub b plus sub b times a, you equal to a sub b plus a sub b, which is just two a sub b. And for the third one, we have sub b times sub b, which is equal to b using the rule from question, sorry, from rule 2. So this is useful when you're trying to expand the bracket and you need to do it quickly in terms of like if you need to like answer exam questions or anything. So we're going to move on to some examples. We have number 1, question number 1, 5 set 3 times 7 set 2. So we're going to do two things here. Number 1, we're going to times the, the, the whole number, the whole number. Number two, we're going to times the third. So we're going to do it at the same time because it's quite easy and straightforward. So with a new color, 5 times 7 equals 35, so 35 on the outside. And the inside third, we have third 3 times third 2, which is you can just combine the whole third to become 3 times 2 in the inside, which is just 6. So it equals 35 root 6 or 35 third 6. And then question number two, we have expanding the bracket. So basically you have to do the FOIL method, like first this and this and this. If you haven't learned it, you should go check out some videos. So we have, let's see. Oh. So three times one equals three, because you get this times this. And then we have three times root two. And then root two times one. And then root 2 times root 2, which is equal to 2. So let's just highlight this to show it more clearly. This and this, this and this. And then this and this. So to simplify this, you just add everything up to simplify it to the fullest. So you can simplify the 3 and the 2 because they are whole numbers. So 3 plus 2 will equal to 5. And then set three, sorry, three set two plus set two. You can simplify it to four to like four set two. So this will be the final answer. And then lastly, here's some more examples for set. We have question three, four set two minus set eight plus set fifty. So you might th you might think that you can't simplify it further due to that rule of like plus and minus. But one thing to take notice is that you can simplify this and this to like more to like so you can simplify it more because it's not the fullest that the simplest form. So let's break it down. We have set eight. So set eight is equal to set four times set two, because if you combine the set, it will become four times two in the inside, which is just eight, which is what we want here. So let's just highlight this. This equals this. So you know that set four. Or root 4 is just 2 because 4 is a square number, perfect square. So it becomes 2 times set 2, which is 2 set 2. So that's the first thing. The second thing, set 50. So you know that set 50, you can apply the same rule as I did for set 8. So you have to think of a perfect square number times another number to become 50 in the inside. So in this case, a perfect number could be, or, or a perfect square number could be 25, which is just 5 square. And 25 times 2, which is a simplest form, not like a multiple. 25 times 2 is 50, which is what we want. So it will be root 25 times root 2. So let's just highlight this with a new color. So uh, set 25 will equal to 5 times set 2 which is 5 root 2. 
So to combine everything together, it will be 4 root 2 minus 3rd 8, which is right here, 2 root 2, and then plus 3rd 50, which is this, plus 5, this. Let's just highlight this. Yellow, this, and this. And then we have green, which is this, this, and this. So you, when you have all of the same set in the inside, we can just minus the whole number. We can like just do operations like minus or plus to the whole number. So in this case, it's 4 minus 2 plus 5. 4 minus 2 is 2. And 2 plus 5 is 7. So the final answer would be 7 as a whole number. Combined with the set in the inside, will be 7, set, 2. And that's the final answer. And with our last example, we have, let's split it into two. We have this right here. Basically, you have to rationalize the, 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 the like, denominator. So to rationalize it, we have this on the top. Root 3 equals, oh sorry, plus. Let's, let's rewrite this actually. We have root 3 plus 2 root 2. And to rationalize it, we have to do like the opposite like the opposite sign of this. So if this is minus, we have to do it to a plus so that we can get rid of the third inside because it's a difference of two squares. So it becomes this two and the bottom will be third three third three minus two set two and set three plus two set two. And it's the same form. That's just Draw an arrow. And to simplify the top, we have set 3 times set 3. We have on top set 3 times set 3, which gives us 3. And then we have 2 set 2 times two, uh, set 3, which is just 2 set 6. Let's just write it out. 3 times, oh, sorry, plus 2 set 6 plus 2 set 6, because we have 2 of the same thing. This times together, and this times together. So we have 2 set 6 plus 2 set 6, which is 4 set 6. And then here we have 2 set 2 times 2 set 2. So one important thing, let me just draw it out. 2 set 2 times 2 set 2. We have to times the whole number, which is just 4. And then set 2 times set 2, it's 2. So you have to remember to times the 2 as well. So equal to 8. So don't forget that. So this will equal to 3 times 4 set 6 plus 8. And the bottom, oh, let me just rewrite this. And the bottom, you set 3 times set 3 is 3. And then you can cancel out this and this. Because 1 is a plus and 1 is a minus, which is a difference of 2 squared. You can just cancel it out and that's why we choose different signs. And 3 will equal to well, like minus. Uh, minus 2 set 2 times uh, 2 set 2. So minus 2 set 2 times 2 set 2 it will equal to, let's say, let's see, minus 2 times 2 is equal to minus 4. And minus 4 times set 2 times set 2, which is just minus 4 times 2, and equal to minus 8, which is what we have here, just a minus sign. So let's just simplify it further. 14, sorry, 11 plus 4 root 6 over minus 5 and I don't we don't seem to be able to simplify any further because we can't cancel out every, uh, anything so that's our final answer so let's just write it in green minus 11 plus 4 root 6 over 5 and that's our final answer And if you need any more questions or like any question papers or any examples, I have linked this slide on to my website at yemisteasy.com where you can tap into the site and you can tap into these examples right here which contains a question paper, QP stands for question paper, and MS stands for mark scheme. So you can tap into paper 1 of question paper of indices and cert, and you can tap into paper 2 for question paper of indices and cert, and you can tap into the paper 2 for the mark scheme for the same question set. 
and that's it for this short video for IGCC and Maths for today. We look into the rules and examples for certs. And I hope you all found it useful and helpful. And if you did, please leave a like and subscribe and ring the notification bell so that you don't miss out on any future videos. And if you have any comments or constructive criticisms, just drop them off in the comment section and I'll reply to them. Or even if you have any questions about anything or like any things about certs or any topics or any topics about uh, maths, you can just drop them off in the comment section and I'll reply to them. And check out my Instagram in the description for more daily content and check out my website in the description if you need any resources or any lesson slides or any like videos. Or you can type it out in your browser at www.yemissiteasy.com And I hope you all find it useful and helpful and I'll see you all in the next video which we will look into questions for just for search. And until then, stay safe and... Happy learning.